Hello, good to see you. My name's Tony FM DNA. We're back for another tactic testing video, but before we get into it, if you can like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff, a like does go a long way. How is this video be seen by more people? And that helps me out. So thank you new. What tactic are we trying out? We are trying out the Holy Ghost Fire Nap 41221 Oxford P101. It's a tactic by a nap, so you know it's going to be a cracking one. If you want to download this tactic and try it out for yourself, it is in the description below. It should be. But if you can't download it for any reason, follow what I'm going to show you now because we're going to run over it. What have we got? We've got a sweeper keeper on support. We've got a wing back attack on the left. We've got a ball playing defender defend. We've got another ball playing defender defend. If I'm going too fast, pause it when need be because there is added on instructions. On the right hand side, we have a wing back support. We have a defensive midfielder support. On the left hand side, we have a winger attack. The right hand side, we have a winger attack. We have attack and midfielder attack. Now alongside we have a shadow striker attack. Then up front we have advanced forward attack. Tactical style is a custom tick attacker. Mentality is positive. In possession what do we have? We have attack and whip fairly wide. Passing directness shorter. Tempo extremely high. Time wasting never. Low crosses work the ball into the box. In transition we have counter press, counter Dispute to full backs and throw it long. That seems to be about it. Out of possession, what do we have? We have use offside trap. Much higher line of engagement. Standard defensive line. Nearly missed the offside. Use offside trap. Defensive whip standard. Trigger press much more often and prevent short goal kick distributions. That is the tactic. Hopefully you've uh, paused it when you needed to. To you plan on Xbox to copy that down if you can't download it from the description below. So what do we do here? We choose three teams. Season preview first, Main City. Season preview to finish 10th, West Ham. And season preview to finish 20th, Norwich City. We leave the assistant manager in charge. He has to play this tactic. And then we check out the results and we put it into our fun tactic test and lead table at the end. It's all about the fun. Right, this is Main City's best 11 without restrictions. Now let's get to the results. So here we go then. We've won the Community Shield with Man City. Got knocked out of the fourth round of the Carabao Cup against Man United. Got knocked out of the FA Cup fifth round against Chelsea. But won the Champions League against Borussia Dortmund 3-0 in the final. Fantastic. And finished with 104 points. Yeah, that is a good points tally. 97 goal difference. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Top goal scorers, Kevin De Bruyne, Jack Grealish. Jack Grealish with the highest rating. I don't think I've ever seen that in this tactic testing video so far. Grealish with loads of assists. Play of the match awards. As you can see here, 104 points. 97 gold limits. Only lost two games. Against, both against Man United, which is funny. Drew two games. Won 34. Phenomenal. 6-3 against Watford. We'll try and take a look at that later on. Clean sheets. Where are we? We're second. I'll see it on the front there. 17 clean sheets, which is great. Yellow cards. Is it very dirty? We've got a mixed bag. We do have the we had Rodri of 15, but it's not too bad. You are going to pick up a few, but I don't think it's not too bad. This is the highest most points per game I think I've ever seen when I've done this tactic testing video. A 2.74. 126 goals. Most shots for 802. Fewest shots against. We're second with 325. Best pass completion, no. Most possession. We are third with 53%. Most tackles won, third, 677. Most dribbles top with 505. Most clean sheets were second with 18. Viewers conceded, second with 29. That's pretty damn good. But it's 2.74. Amazing, absolutely amazing. How did it start? Well, beat Leicester, beat Liverpool, beat Tottenham, beat Watford 6-0. So far, so good. We know they lost against Man United in the Carabao Cup. They lost on penalties. That was close. Their Champions League group, how was it? It's funny because they had Bruce Dortmund in the Champions League group. So when they got to the final, to play them again, you'd think they'd be full of confidence because Bruce Dortmund lost twice against Man City, 3 4, 3 0. Uh, yeah. I guess a great group. Playing a team that you've already beaten twice in the final. Uh, if, let's go through some of these results. There's just 2 1 against Arsenal, 3 1 against Tottenham. 5-2 against Arsenal. They did lose against Chelsea in the FA Cup fifth round. Let them have it. Uh, they beat Barcelona in the first round. Knockout 5-2. What was the previous leg? 1-0. Then they beat Real Madrid 6-2. 3-2. Showing Liverpool how to do it. 
Uh, and then they beat Liverpool in the semi-final of the Champions League, 1-0 and 3-0. It's a fantastic tactic with Man City. And then Borussia Dortmund in the final, 3-0, nice and comfortable. Yeah, it's definitely, definitely won the tryout already. Even if this doesn't finish top of the Tata Testa, 104 points. Winning the Champions League, comfortable. A really, really good tactic. And that's it with, uh, that's it with Man City. How is it going to do with West Ham? Let's find out. So at the start of the season, this is West Ham's best 11 without restrictions. I'm really looking forward to this. Let's get to the results. So it's another great result. Runner up in the Carabao Cup. Lost to Liverpool in the semi-final of the FA Cup. Won Europa League against Leicester in the final 3-1. Fantastic. Finished second in the league. 82 points. The same as Man City who are champions. It's a quite a low tally considering you see that Man City 100 points 82 points finishing second with West Ham absolutely amazing goal difference of 8 38 lost 6 drew 7 125 phenomenal if I take a look at the Premier League what do we have Benarama top goal scorer Creswell for 7.53 Bowen yep it's 13 12 assists we're getting loads of assists clean sheets what does it look like 13 clean sheets Good. Yellow cards. I can see we've got a few yellow cards. We picked up a few on this one. We picked up a few with West Ham. Team overall view. What do we have? We're joint top. A 2.16. Most goals were second. 80. Most shots for second. 655. I don't like finishing second. Fewer shots against. We're third. We're 382. Best pass completion. No. Most possession. No. Most tackles won were top with 801. Most dribbles were top with 515. Most clean sheets were not on there. Fewest conceded were joint 7th, conceding 42 goals. If I take a look at the schedule, let's take a look at it at start. A good win against Leicester. They lost against Tottenham. If we look at the Europa League group they're in. Finishing 2nd. Okay. That doesn't matter though because we went on to win it. They lost one game against Lazio, 7-3. Goals galore. Uh, if we keep going, going down, let's have a check see if we can pick something else out. Beat Crystal Palace on penalties in the Carabao Cup. 7-1 in the Europa League. Quarter final beating Tottenham 2-0. Beating Man City 4-3. Missed that one. A draw against Chelsea. Draw against Liverpool. Beating Arsenal. And then we get to the Carabao Cup semi-final. Play Chelsea 4-0. 2-0. Lovely. And then beat Chelsea again 4-2. Beat Man United 4-1. Some really good results. You can see Lille in the UEFA, UEFA Europa League first round knockout. Comfortable 5-0, 4-1. Then losing to Liverpool in the Carabao Cup final 2-1. Unlucky. And then beating Leicester in the FA Cup. There's so much to talk about. Europa League second round, comfortable 6-1. Keep on going. Olympiacos 2-1 lost there, but then a 3-0 win. And then losing to Liverpool. So Liverpool beat him in the Carabao Cup final. Liverpool beat him in the semi-final of the FA Cup. Poxy Liverpool trying to get in the way of things. Beating Sporting. 3-0, then 6-0. Beating Liverpool near the end of the season. And like I said, beating Leicester in UEFA. UEFA Europa League final. 3-1. Hopefully that all made sense to you. I think I was tripping over my words. Fantastic. Fantastic with uh, Man City. Fantastic with West Ham. Can it be fantastic with Norwich? Fingers crossed, and it's coming up next. So this is Norwich's best 11 without restrictions. Now let's see how it gets on. So here we go with Norwich. They were runner-up in the Carabao Cup, got to the final, that is fantastic. Fourth round of the FA Cup, losing to Leeds, finishing ninth in the league. Okay, it's not as good as Man City or West Ham, but it's Norwich. Season preview to finish 20th, 11 places above their season preview. 53 points. Not bad. Minus one goal difference. Lost 13. Drew 11. Won 14 games. Let's take a look at the Premier League. Uh, goals wise, do we have anyone on there? Puki, 24 goals. That is pretty damn good considering the other two. I think we had Benarama, top goal scorer of 20. This season, everyone turned up. Average rating, have we got anyone on there? Anyone? Anyone? We'll just, we'll just, uh, we'll just pass through that. Assists. Nine assists. Eight assists, yeah. Clean sheets, four. 
Okay, keep on moving, keep on moving. Nothing to see. Yellow cards. A few yellow cards. <laughs> We've got first and second. Yeah, there's a few on there. You are going to pick them up. Let's get to the most important things. Team overall view. What do we have? Most points per game. We have a 1.39. Most goals. We're fifth with 67 goals. Most shots for. We're joint fourth with 545. Fewer shots against. We're not on there. Best pass completion. Let's just pass. Pass. Most tackles won. Joint second with 710. Most dribbles were top. 524. Most clean sheets. Fewest conceded. Let's get to the schedule and see some of the results. Right, started off with a 4-2 win against Southampton, which is great. Doncaster Rovers. We won't we won't talk about the Man United and the Liverpool game 6-1. Did beat Arsenal 2-0. Did actually beat um Liverpool in the Carabao Cup third round, knocking them out. Fantastic. 1-0 against Villa. A 1-0 here against Chelsea, 4-0 against Newcastle. We'll just talk about the wins. We won't talk about the losses. Uh, Leeds, 4-2. Arsenal in the Carabao Cup, knocking them out in the semi-final. Who do they play in the final? Man United, losing 2-1. Unlucky. And then come the end of the season, lost against... We won't talk about the losses, actually. 2-1 against Newcastle. And a 4-2 win against Crystal Palace. And you got a 3-1 against Tottenham. Ninth place in the league, 53 points. I mean, they would have got one more win or even a draw. They would have finished seventh and been in Europe. Goal difference is better than Tottenham. So I feel it's been pretty good with Norwich. Got to the Cab Cup final, just losing to Man United. Done amazing with West Ham. Done amazing with Man City. Let's add up all the points and put it into the fun tactic testing league table. So Holy Ghost Fire Nap 41221 Oxford P101 comes in at a number four spot, 173, drew 20, lost 21, a golden was 134, a point set of 239. A fantastic tactic, especially in Man City. That was amazing. If you like a bit of Let's Play, I do have a Tunbridge Angel save going on, non-league and beyond. Love to have you over there on that series. If you've got a tactic yourself, you want me to test out, please get in contact with me. Instagram, Twitter. YouTube, FM DNA. But that's it for me, guys. Come back again for another tactic testing video, and I'll see you next time.